Now, I know what you're thinking. No, I haven't been in the pub. Well, only for 10 minutes anyway. But just imagine how I felt a few days ago when somebody phoned me and said, would you like to come and ride Retro Machine of the Year? Oh, yes, please, I said. A big throbbing muscle bike, that's what it'll be. Well, not quite. What he actually meant was this. It's Retro Scooter of the Year. Yes, it's a Malaguti yesterday. Just as well I didn't wear my race leathers, eh? Just as well indeed, because with just 49 cc's to play with, this little yesterday has absolutely no chance of breaking any speed limits. Perhaps the idea was to make it deliberately slow so that everyone can enjoy its good looks. It performs, well if that's the right word, exactly the same as every other 50cc scooter. 30 or occasionally 40 down a hill is about as good as it gets. Well, a real blast from the past, as you can see. The name says it all, doesn't it? Yesterday. Nothing to do with Paul McCartney, I'm afraid. But down there, you can't see it. It's tucked away. You can't see it on modern scooters these days. 49 cc Moto Minarelli engine, air-cooled, all the way from Italy, as indeed are Malaguti. And in fact, you know, since 1930, Malaguti have sold over 3 million scooters. Yes, over 3 million since 1930. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, that's what, half past seven. Some go in that. Let me show you my favourite bit though, one of my favourite bits. I could just find the key. On the back here, a top box. Well, not quite a top box, is it? A more sort of on the side box, really. That opens up and there's a little compartment there, a little cubby hole. You won't get very much in it, but a few bits. Looks like a spare wheel cover that the old Vespers and Lambrettas used to carry many years ago, but doesn't carry a spare wheel on this one. And on the back here, the centre part has just a reflector with the logo. And here's the indicators, and look at that. Nice chrome finish on there again. Very, very smart. Bit of thought gone into that. And as you'd expect, you can lift the seat up, pop your key in, unclick it, seat comes up. Big storage compartment there. Get a full face helmet in there, no problem. Petrol goes in there. I'm talking about petrol, 60 odd, probably at least maybe 70 to the gallon on one of these. So very, very economical, very cheap to run. And only £15 a year road tax, one of these as well. 15 quid, that's all it'll cost you to put it legally on the road. You may notice this rack here, you'll think, what's the point of having a rack there? Because you can't see it when the seat's down. Ha, well, there's good reason for that. Because when you buy one of these, you can have it with the dual seat like this, or you can have it with a single seat, which finishes here. And that bit isn't there. You don't get that, which lets you use the rack and also puts it on view because it looks nice. But what do you do if you say, well, I'll have the single seat, and then afterwards you think, no, I should have bought the double seat. Well, you can buy the seat like this as an optional extra. Stick it on later, it'll cost you 90 quid. You might have noticed underneath there, there was no place to put the two-stroke oil. There's a little two-stroke motor to this. That's because the two-stroke oil in this one goes here behind this front grille, which again is a very fancy, uh, elaborate thing. This nice chrome finish, it's only plastic, but it's got a lovely chrome finish on it. And in there, the two-stroke oil is. Also in there is the battery. Why it's in there, I don't know, but, uh, but that's where it is. Well, we're down here. Look at that mud guard for a fancy bit of work there. Three pieces that, one, two, and one on this side. It's not just any old moulding, any old lump of plastic shoved on. Again, a bit of thought's gone into that. Nice little touches there. Little uh, detail on the side again with the chrome finish. And look at this, white wall tyres, eh? When was the last time you saw white wall tyres on anything? I can't remember. A real blast from the past. So who might buy a Malaguti yesterday? Well, probably the kind of person who likes to be different. Someone who doesn't want to blend into the background along with every other modern day scooter. Also someone who isn't impressed with a modern scooter, which looks as though it's just fallen straight out of a Book Rogers movie. Perhaps someone who appreciates style and class and who remembers the days when it was important to build something which actually looked nice. So how much is it going to cost you to step back in time on a little yesterday? Well, let's look at what you're getting first. You're getting Italian engineering down there, Motor Minarelli, nothing wrong with that. Been around a long time, very, very good. Disc brake on the front, drum brake on the back. They're not pin sharp, but this isn't a power machine. You don't really need them to be pin sharp. They're good enough for this, believe me. You're getting Italian flair and style. Look at it, it smacks of style. I do like that back end. Beautiful touch, that. Loads of little bits of chrome everywhere. Chrome here, chrome there, nice chrome surround on the dashboard. Look at this down here, that's beautiful, isn't it? I just think it's 
a nice looking thing. I think they've done the job absolutely spot on. So it's going to be very expensive, isn't it? Well, probably not as dear as you might think. £1,899. You can have one of these for, yeah, £18.99. You can have it in silver like this, or a red one, a nice cream one, or you can have a very deep blue one. And there's a 70cc version as well to follow, and that's expected to cost just over £2,000. So there you are, a real blast from the past. Right, back to the pub. Just for a soft drink, of course. And after the break, Wayne visits a bike clothing shop with a difference, and we'll teach you how to lock up your bike.